most reviled by far <clears throat> of yep. all the podcasts. And it isn't actually a podcast. It's a podcaster. Do you want to have uh, have a guess? I know who it is. Go on. Tell me. Conrad Thompson? Yep. And I said that about him a long time ago. I like Conrad. But when he does a podcast, he does almost as much talking as the guy doing the podcast. I watched Jeff Jarrett. What is my world with, yeah. with Jeff? Yeah. And he's asking questions, especially questions about TNA. And you can tell Jeff gets a little bit miffed at him a little bit himself because he's bringing all this stuff up. And I mean, stuff that you could easily skip over. And it was the, it doesn't really paint, paint TNA in a positive light. And Jeff is doing it and trying to do it right. And Jeff is kind of in his podcast. I think he does a good job, a great job. And he's kind of middle of the road, but here's Conrad picking all the bad stuff up that he can, and he's leaving Jeff to defend it. So, and I think he talks too much on his podcast for his own good. And his guests are his host, uh, the guy doing the podcast for their good. And that's why he ended up with the, the number of negative votes that he got. How many did he get? Uh, well, Vince Russo had 18 dislikes. Conrad Thompson had 44. Wow. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, I may have you pause here for a second. Okay. How many listeners does Conrad have on the Jeff Jarrett show? I can only tell you on subscribers, but one second. I've found the information out. 31,600 subscribers on YouTube. For Jeff's show? Yeah. What's the number one show in Conrad Thompson's? What, what What's he called his whole deal? Uh, the Conrad Thompson Network. I'm making that up. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, I'm sure it has got a name. Anyway. 31,000. Wow. Yeah. I thought they'd have more. Of the top one, of all the YouTube... Ch I can't go on the podcast, all the YouTube channels. I don't know if Kevin Nash counts. I think it might sort of count Kevin Nash, even though Comrade's not on it. But uh, I think Kevin Nash is the only one who beats us in monthly views. And that doesn't count last month because we beat him, Kevin Nash, in monthly mm -hmm. views because we had a good month. Really? Yeah. So we are, apart from Cornette, of that month we were the second most viewed after Cornet uh, YouTube weekly podcast show really? on YouTube I think anyway yeah so we need to advertise we need to advertise that fact what the second most watched or third most watched YouTube podcast wrestling based with a single wrestling personality well, that, don't put that's that too many, many asterisks, really, isn't it? That's, that's too many parameters. <laughs> yeah. Just put number two podcast. Yeah. Turnstile numbers. We got number two. <laughs> and we're the best. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. So I had to. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is what Chris has said, the editor. It said, I had to start Comrade Thompson's own tally after I realized people hated him more than the wrestlers he was, he was talking to. Uh, he hosts. <laughs> And his pods are basically one long infomercial. So it is the unbelievable Who? amount of advertising. Hey, Blue Chew. Hey, a hot tag for your wieners. Like, oh, shut up. You hear, you hear the same advert so many times over and over again. And just all the podcasts are absolutely full of them. Okay. A blue, a blue, what is it? Blue tube? Uh, uh, no. Uh, and, and yeah, it's some like chewable Viagra thing. Yeah, I know what it is. Oh, Blue Chew. But, uh, but what, do they, what do they pay him? I don't know. With 31,000 subscribers. I don't know. Do you want me to call and ask? <laughs> well, we're looking for subscribers. Aren't we? I mean, uh, looking for sponsors, aren't we? Yeah, I suppose so. You know, yeah, well, maybe this might be the next latest podcast to have to like, advertise boner chewing gum. 
<laughs> I should be nicer to him just in case we actually do get sponsored by him. Um, <clears throat> also, a lot of dislikes for anyone Conrad pods with, but they are generally targeting Conrad, but not always. Few people said Keith P. Story time, the drive through click this in 83 weeks are the ones that he likes, and a lot of times I just do clips of click and 83 because the amount of ads Conrad shows uh, is absolutely insane. This other fellow said, I can miss Conrad. He makes the shows about himself, as you said. And then Red Fox Punks says, the other wrestling podcast I could do without is Jericho's. The Conrad podcast and the majority of wrestling podcasts, they're either too high on themselves, not into it, or always shilling crap to their audience. And frankly, none of these people main evented Wembley and helped dying children with the stench of death on them. So why bother? So it's a good callback from Hulk Hogan two weeks ago as well. That That is good. The stench of death upon them. I mean... It is. Where did that come from? Oh, God. Oh, it's from Hulk Hogan, who can smell death on dying children at Wembley. Man, it's too he's, much. He's, he's, he's it's got, too much. He's, he's too got much. senses. He's got senses that you and I can only dream of. Oh, yeah. He's, uh... <clears throat> but, uh, I, made a tri- I made a trip with Hulk Hogan when he was first starting out. We made a trip, and I was in Florida. But he's from Tampa, I think. Mm-hmm. We made a trip to Tallahassee, and his name was Terry Gordon. No, Terry Golden, I think. That's his wrestling name. And we made this trip up. And the whole trip to Tallahassee is about a little more than three hours. And three hours back. So for six hours, I listened to Hulk Hogan talk about himself. And he was like, he'd only been in the business like two months, three months, maybe. And we were, we were going up there and I remember watching his match that night and it was okay. And coming back and he asked me, he said, do you see my match? And I said, well, yeah. And how was it? And it was okay, but it wasn't outstanding. So it just it was all about him and his football playing and his weightlifting and his you know the playing the bass and the band and it was all about him so for six hours i i learned all about huck and i never rode with him again <laughs> because there was nothing else for us to talk about you could have talked about yourself for six hours next time oh uh, he don't want to he don't want to talk about that no all right, at all then. Okay, anything else you want to add to the podcast thing or any of the names I've said, or should we shut the show down? And for Conrad Thompson, they said he has too many commercials mm-hmm. and he makes it all about himself. Mm-hmm. See, the first time I saw, I watched a, a Jeff Jarrett, My World podcast, and... I was getting hot at Conrad because he was interrupting Jeff every time he tried to give an answer. He wanted, he wanted to make sure that people, I guess, knew that he knew what he was talking about. And he did. But I think his he was where Jeff was the protagonist. He was the baby face. And it's almost like Conrad was the heel. And I, like I, I just said it that I think Jeff got just a little teed off at him there for a little bit. Didn't stop the podcast, but I mean, they kept going, but I I think Conrad actually took away. If you were enjoying Jeff listening to him and then in comes Conrad to give him a different train of thought on on a negative note, then I don't think I, that's where I kind of said, well, I, my chain of, Train of thought is broken now, so I don't care care about it. So I turned it off. 